everybody getting involved. This year we've added a new, uh, a new element to all of this. And let's start with Terry from the Observer Dispatch. I was the publisher over there. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Uh, nice and tight, if you could, to that uh, microphone. So uh, the OD has been doing Operation Sunshine far longer than I've been doing my, my toy drive. Um, and we always worked with you because it, it works that way. When we first started the toy drive, we tried to distribute the toys on our own. And as you know, that's just a, that's a, a real effort. So by all of us working together, it has worked really well over the years. This year, we take it to a different level. Uh, we do. Uh, as you know, one of the things that Operation Sunshine has done really well is work through the agencies and get directly to, to those in need. Yeah. And uh, last year, pretty much in the middle of the drive, uh, I was contacted by Jim from Toys for Tots and mentioning kind of the same problem that you have, have discussed, that getting the toys is one thing, getting them to the right place is the other, and uh, Toys for Tots clearly is you know the brand yeah, for, for yeah. collecting toys and uh, and they have the same issue getting them out so he expressed an interest in, in working with us so last year was the first attempt at kind of merging two databases and, and making sure that we extended our reach as much as we could but this year is the first really uh, big push where we're all in this together and toys for tots is the is the kind of collection brand along with all the other drives that yeah. are there and then Operation Sunshine, working through the agencies, will we'll get the toys to the right places. Utica Mac, working you know, as the dist distribution yeah. points. We've got Time Warner's Drive. So all of these, these components working together through a single database to make sure that we reach the most amount of families yeah. in need. And it, it, it's an exciting thing. And, and Jim, one thing, first of all, it's always good. Just pull that mic right to you there, Jim. Yes. It's always good to have the Marines on your side. <laughs> Thank you. Again, I got to mention one thing. Tomorrow's our birthday. It is. I That's why we did this. The Marines uh, celebrating a birthday tomorrow. Yes, we so. do. And of course, Veterans Day on Wednesday. Yes, sir. So, um, you guys have one of the great things that you have uh, beyond the organization. There's things that you've needed that we can do in terms of uh, a lot of different things, including publicity. But you're great when it comes to the buying power. The ability to buy because it's a it's a national operation. You can buy at such a low price. We get so much more for every dollar that comes in. This is true. Uh, we've uh, teamed up. Uh, we probably have about 15 or to 20 different uh, wholesalers that have uh, been approved by the foundation, and we get to buy toys, you know, through them, which is you know yeah. a lot cheaper than what you can in a regular store. I want to go over to Scott Hayes from uh, New York Fashion. Scott, you've seen this. Um, and I think the guys from Utica Mac as well, that when we would go into, um, you know, it's tough on the business, right? And, and I think you mentioned that the other day, Jim, is that this is so helpful for the businesses because it's tough on them. You'll go into, I was in one bank last year and there were three different organizations, yeah. each having a different box in there. Yeah. And, and Scott Hayes, in order for us to um, all work together, now everybody's name goes on one box. And the, and the confusion is not there for the people giving the toys, but also for the business owner. It becomes very difficult. It's not so difficult when all you have to do is remember a teddy bear. That is true. <laughs> that is true. That part, for us, it, it's, it's a big part it's of that. Simple. It's yeah. simple. Yeah. But it, it does make it um, much more convenient and much more streamlined for, for everyone to yeah. have uh, one box, one batch of logos, so everyone can see that we're all working together. And uh, and show the area that we've all come together to raise as many toys as we can yeah. to keep it here in the local area. And Tom and Will, you guys from uh, Utica Mac, you are the ones. Obviously, you deal in transportation, so you're the ones out seeing all this, right? That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Especially uh, last year, we, there were several different boxes, and uh, with the boxes, it was so confusing for a lot of the, the business owners, and they yeah. they were kind of picking and choosing what they wanted to put it in and one of the boxes wouldn't have anything in it so yeah. this way having the one will definitely make it yeah I, mean, I hate to say but if it was your box it was full and the other's box wasn't you're like god i feel bad no. and the other thing that came out of this and jim can talk about uh, from the marine corps league is that there was a lot of misinformation i don't know how anybody tries to discredit the marines but it has been done uh, in this area saying that uh, oh don't give to the marines don't give to toys for tots because those toys all go out of the area yeah, that's been a misconception for three or four years, and yes. it's totally false. Uh, every every toy, every dollar, even on the national level, uh, you get these uh, letters in the mail that you, know, you uh, want to donate the Toys for Tots from the Foundation in Virginia. 
when you send back your donation, that comes back into our financials here at this, in Utica. So if somebody from Utica sends in $100, it comes back onto our account to right. spend money here in, in the Utica area. So that is, let's say I'm in um, I'm in Otsego County, mm -hmm. and I give in Otsego County, does the does the money and the toys come back to Otsego County? Yes, they do. That's yeah. the beauty of that. Yes. And I think that's really We try big. to keep that. We have boundaries, okay, mm -hmm. because we have one program, boundaries, you know, them like we boundary with Onondaga County yeah. and, and stuff like that but uh, we work it out and the main thing of it is, is to be organized and uh, you know just just not to be repetitious but uh, I think this is one of the greatest things that uh, that's happened I was at the Rotary speaking to the Rotary uh, Friday Utica Rotary and I explained to them the partnerships that we're having with the Observer Dispatch and Operation Sunshine. Yeah. I think it's the greatest thing we've done. Well, I, I will make a reference that uh, Jim from the Marine Corps League keeps calling us allies. I'm not sure why he's doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Carrie uh, Bostick. In the <laughs> <laughs> Carrie Bostick, uh, pull the mic right there. Uh, can that go over that? That's fine. There you go. So um, you've reported on this. Uh, Carrie's from the OD. And this is a big, this really is unprecedented, I think. Yeah, um, I've been doing this for about four years now. Yeah. And basically going into the homes, talking with the families that benefit from this, everybody's strapped this time of year. And it's yeah. so important to have the opportunity to be able to help those families, to be able to reach those families. And that's where these agencies come in. Um, we have five, we have Catholic Charities of Oneida County and Madison. Um, we have Catholic Charities of Herkimer County. We've got Salvation Army, we've got the Neighborhood Center, and everybody's just coming together to make sure this happens. Yeah, and that is the, the difficult part, to make sure that uh, all the toys are going to where they need to go, and there's a double dipping issue and all that, and, and this way we just hand it off, and they handle all of that organization of it all. So, uh, Scott Hayes, your event is, uh, is, is really hard to believe, but just around the corner, the, uh, the New York Sash Teddy Bear Toss. Teddy Bear Toss is coming up on the 12th of December. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, that'll basically be our finale of this whole thing. And what a finale it, it becomes. Yeah. It, it's, it's an awesome event. If you haven't been there, um, make sure you plan early because the game does sell out. And the game and the entire event is not possible without Catherine. That is true. Right here. She organizes. Who's Catherine? We only know her as Katie. Katie. Yep. Uh, I'll call her Kate. Okay. And make sure you get your tickets. They've been a little hard to find this year because they're not on Ticketmaster. They're through Empire State Ticks, but you can get them through our website. And you can't pick the seat anymore, can you? Yeah, it's a little tricky this year. It's a little yeah. bit different, but it's definitely going to sell out. Last year it sold out over a week in advance. So yeah. get those through NewYorkSash.com. Or you to good teddy bear toss and as I've said, uh, you know, you can bring a teddy bear, but you can also bring bags of, of teddy bears. That would be even more well, positive. It would be more impressive. It would be. The it more you bring in, the more impressive it is.